It was winter, and the festival of the dedication of the temple was being celebrated in Jerusalem. Jesus was walking in Solomon's porch in the temple when the people gathered round him. How long are you going to keep us in suspense? Tell us the plain truth. Are you the Messiah? I have already told you, but you would not believe me. The deeds I do by my father's authority speak on my behalf. But you will not believe, for you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never die. No one can snatch them away from me. What my father has given me is greater than everything. And no one can snatch them away from the father's care. The father and I are one. And the people again picked up stones to throw at him. I have done many good deeds in your presence, which the Father gave me to do. For which one of these do you want to stone me? We do not want to stone you because of any good deeds, but because of your blasphemy. You're only a man, but you're trying to make yourself God. <laughs> That God said you are gods. We know that what the scripture says is true forever. And God called those people gods. The people to whom his message was given. As for me, the Father chose me and sent me into the world. How then can you say that I blaspheme? Because I said that I am the Son of God. Do not believe me then, if I am not doing the things my Father wants me to do. But if I do them... Even though you do not believe me, you should at least believe my deeds. In order that you may know, once and for all, that the Father is in me, and that I am in the Father. Blasphemy! Once more they tried to seize Jesus, but he slipped out of their hands. Jesus then went back again across the Jordan River to the place where John had been baptizing, and he stayed there. Many people came to him. John performed no miracles, they said, but everything he said about this man was true. And many people there believed in him. A man named Lazarus, who lived in Bethany, became sick. Bethany was the town where Mary and her sister Martha lived. This Mary was the one who poured the perfume on the Lord's feet and wiped them with her hair. It was her brother, Lazarus, who was sick. The sisters sent Jesus the message. Lord, your dear friend is sick. When Jesus heard it, he said, the final result of this sickness will not be the death of Lazarus. This has happened in order to bring glory to God, and it will be the means by which the Son of God will receive glory. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Yet when he received the news that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was for two more days. Then he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. Teacher, just a short time ago, the people there wanted to stone you. And are you planning to go back? A day has 12 hours, doesn't it? So those who walk in broad daylight do not stumble, for they see the light of this world. But if they walk during the night, they stumble because they have no light. 
Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. But I will go and wake him up. If he is asleep, Lord, he will get well. Jesus meant that Lazarus had died, but they thought he meant natural sleep, so Jesus told them plainly. Lazarus is dead. But for your sake, I am glad that I was not with him, so that you will believe. Let us go to him. Thomas, called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us all go along with the teacher, so that we may die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had been buried four days before. Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Judeans had come to see Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother's death. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed in the house. If you had been here, Lord, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask him for. Your brother will rise to life. I know that he will rise to life on the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live, even though they die. And those who live and believe in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. I do believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. After Martha said this, she went back and called her sister Mary privately. The teacher is here and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up and hurried out to meet him. Jesus had not yet arrived in the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. The people who were in the house with Mary comforting her followed her when they saw her get up and hurry out. They thought that she was going to the grave to weep there. Mary arrived where Jesus was, and as soon as she saw him, she fell at his feet. Jesus saw her weeping, and he saw how the people with her were weeping also. His heart was touched, and he was deeply moved. Where have you buried him? Come and see, Lord. Jesus wept. See how much he loved him, the people said. But some of them said, He gave sight to the blind man, didn't he? Could he not have kept Lazarus from dying? Deeply moved once more, Jesus went to the tomb, which was a cave with a stone placed at the entrance. Take the stone away. There will be a bad smell, Lord. He has been buried four days. Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? took the stone away.
Jesus looked up. I thank you, Father, that you listened to me. I know that you always listen to me. But I say this for the sake of the people here. So that they will believe that you sent me. After he had said this, he called out in a loud voice. Lazarus! Come out! He came out. His hands and feet wrapped in grave clothes. And with a cloth round his face. Untie him and let him go. Many of the people who had come to visit Mary saw what Jesus did, and they believed in him.